The first card you have you passed is the moon. Yes. Um, Yes, this is about um, this is about delusions or illusions or something like that. I am seeing this is about um, yes, not being able to see everything about a person, or maybe not wanting to see everything about a person. It could be that you you want to see the best in someone, but actually they're not um, who you think they are, or something like that. And I am seeing that this is this could be for single people who um, are looking for a relationship. There was someone um, who you could have been interested in at this time. And I am seeing hope here. I'm seeing hope because I am seeing the sun, but in front of the sun, we have the frowning moon. So actually, this is the sun being hidden behind the moon. So what I'm seeing is that this person is hiding something or they were hiding something. Either they were deliberately hiding something or you weren't seeing everything about them. There was something that you might not have liked and you're pretending that you weren't seeing this about this person or you just actually weren't seeing this about this person. So yes, things look very different in the moonlight to what they do in the sunlight. So you weren't seeing everything as clearly as you should have been. That's what I'm seeing. So just be very careful with this person because I am seeing, yes, this is a person from your past. This could be an ex. It could be someone you're around again. Um, and I am seeing this hope in this card because there's like a sun and a moon and a star all together. So you do have some hope or you did have some hope at this time um, to get together with this person again or something like that. But just be very careful. That's what I'm seeing. Be very careful because the moon is about, in this reading I'm seeing, this is about um, delusions or illusions or something like that. The next card you have for your present, sorry, for your past, is the Page of Pentacles. Um, so yes, you wanted to make a start. You wanted to have some sort of start with this person. Uh, that's because the page is a young person. So this is a newness, this is a start, but also this is a pentacle. So this is like stability. So you wanted to start something up with this person and you wanted to eventually have stability with this person. This is what you were hoping for eventually. And um, yes, you wanted to make a start with this person. And I'm also seeing that this could be about you Yes, wanting to make a fresh start with someone, because again, I'm seeing this could be an ex again. This is someone who you might have been around before in your past. And um, yes, if this resonates and you feel this way, um, especially if there's someone who you broke up with before, just be very careful to make sure that you know um, who they really are uh, before you go ahead um, and pursue this with this person because I am still seeing these illusions. So just be very careful. Make sure you have your eyes open. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have you passed is the star. So yes, the actual star. So here it is. Here's your hope. You have hope for this situation with this person, or you did at this time, and um, you hoped that this would turn out well, and maybe you hoped they have changed, and maybe they have changed. Some people do change. A lot of people say, oh, people never change. Once they're like that, they can't change. I don't believe that. I think that some people can change, not everyone, but it's not impossible for people to change. Some people can't change, but some people do change. Some people do change. If you look at yourself and the way you were years ago, or the way you were as a teenager, you're very different than you are now, if you're older now. Um, you're not the same. You're still the same person, but you changed. Your attitudes changed. You, you know, you grew and people do grow. They do change. And so, Again, you know, if you decide to get together with this person, take things very, very slowly because they might have changed or they might not have. But make sure you go into this very slowly and make sure you know for sure before you actually jump in ahead or jump in again with this person. That's what I'm seeing. The first card you have for your present is the Queen of Pentacles. So yes, this is about um, being careful of your appearance or be careful about how others see you or something like that. Not in a manipulative way. I'm not meaning, you know, put on a front for someone. And I'm not talking about being vain either. I'm not talking about putting on fancy clothes and showing off or something like that. I'm just seeing that um, you could be around some people um, where you're supposed to look appropriate or behave appropriately or something like that. You had to be, or you're going to be, or you are on your best behavior at this time with whatever this is. This could be a work situation. It could be something um, formal or some formal event or something like that. It might be a wedding or it might be something where you have to, you might be on camera. It might be something, you might be on a stage, something where you're on show to other people, something like that. 
And also this is showing me with this pantacle again and with his beautiful woman in this beautiful garden. This is showing me how much you want the stability with this person. You're still wanting this. You're still going to want to pursue this. That's what I'm seeing. And, you know, again, I don't want to, um, I don't want to ruin things for you, but just make sure you're not prepared to put up with anything to get this stability. Because, you know, if this person isn't being their true selves with you, you're not going to get the stability. That's the opposite, opposite of stability. So just be careful. Just think about this very carefully. Um, yes, I'm seeing that again. So the next card you have here present is the Eight of Wands. So yes, I'm seeing at this time you might be communicating a lot with this person. There's Yes, I am seeing a lot of communication happening between you and I'm getting this beautiful, exciting feeling about this. It's like, you know, when you get to know someone, you know, when you're first seeing someone and you're all excited and, and you get, you know, a text from them and it says, bing, and you, and you look at it and, oh, maybe there's a heart and like, oh, and you feel all excited. It's that kind of feeling. So this is a fantastic feeling. I don't want to make you feel, I don't want to take this away from you if you are feeling this fantastic thing. I don't want to make you feel bad. Enjoy these feelings. These are really fun. This is a fantastic time, but try to move slowly if you can. Have fun, yes, but don't get into anything seriously unless you actually know everything about this person. Try to take things very slowly and, you know, if this person cares about you, they'll understand about you taking things slowly, especially if they're an ex, especially if they've hurt you before, or especially if you had issues before. They will understand that you're very um, cautious and you want to take things slowly. So yes, keep your eyes open. Have fun, of course, but keep your eyes open. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have your present is the tower. So yes, again, I don't mean to be repetitive. I'm just seeing the same thing again. I, I'm not seeing that you're going to have the tower at this time, but I am seeing this as a message to you to make sure that you go slowly. Make sure that if you do get into a relationship with this person, again, um, this is built on a proper foundations this time, because if it isn't, it's going to come crashing down like the tower. Just be very, very careful to build something very solid. Make sure you have that stability before you jump in um, with, with two feet. That's what I'm seeing there. So yes, the first card you have for your future is the Empress. So yes, caring, nurturing, that's what this beautiful, beautiful Empress is. Look how comfortable she is. She's just sitting there so comfortably. And yeah, this is just so beautiful. So this is about you. You're open to ideas from other people around you. You're open to, um, you're just open. You're just sitting there comfortable in yourself, open to what's going on around you, open to your surroundings. And I also see you're open to helping other people and you're ready to help other people, specifically someone. Um, I'm actually seeing someone who has children here and uh, I'm just seeing you being around children at this time, helping to take care of children, maybe helping someone out. It's not only about helping out someone with children in a kind of a babysitting kind of way. It's not kind of like that. It might be that you have to help someone, a parent with um, emotional help. You might have to advise them. You might have to help them out or something like that. So it's not just practical help you're going to be giving to someone. It's emotional help. It's all sorts of different things that might be advice um, to this person. So yes, you really do care about this person. This might be a sibling or a relative of something like that. That's what I'm seeing or someone like that, I should say. The next card you have for your future is the Page of Swords. So yes, I'm seeing a message. This isn't a message that's coming in directly to you though. This is a message, um, yes, this is an indirect message. It might not be about you. Um, this is very confusing because I'm not seeing that anyone's actually coming in to tell you anything directly. Maybe that's because this is on social media or something like that. It might be something that you see um, somebody else put there for someone else to see and you see it. So I'm seeing this is some information. This is something like that, probably on social media. Just be careful about listening to whatever this is or believing whatever this is. I'm seeing this message could be repeated over and over again. And that's another reason why I'm seeing it might be social media. It might be shared by a lot of people or tagged. A lot of people might be tagged in this, might be something like that, going around from person to person. And um, yeah, it's being repeated, repetition. And I'm just seeing, you know, 
this might not be true. Just be very careful. This might be gossip. And I'm seeing that people might be asking your opinion on this. They might be asking you to comment on it. They might be asking what you have to say about this. So just be very careful that you know all the information before you actually say anything at all. Um, or even better, don't comment at all if it's gossip. Just keep away from this totally. This could backfire on you if you start getting into this you might be involved in this, someone might be hurt, angry, and you might it might backfire on you. So don't involve yourself in this. Keep yourself completely out of this. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have in your future is the sun. So yes, again, I'm seeing the children in this empress situation. This is clear again to me, um, children. I'm also seeing that this is about shedding light on this person in the moon card, trying to shed light on it. At this time, you might finally be shedding light on what's going on. You might find out what's going on with this person. Now, sometimes people keep things hidden uh, for a good reason. Sometimes they're embarrassed about something. Sometimes it's just something that they haven't told you for whatever reason. Sometimes it's a good reason. Sometimes people have white lies. Maybe they have a surprise. Maybe they want to hurt you. It's something completely different. Maybe someone around you can say something horrible to you when the person hears and they don't tell you to spare your feelings. It doesn't mean they're being nasty necessarily. So it might be something like that, but whatever it is, light is going to be shed on whatever's going on with this person in the moon card. You're going to find out what's going on. That's what I'm seeing. And now I'm seeing this is like a an evolution from the beginning to the ending. It's really funny how this is coming out because I'm seeing at the beginning, I'm seeing the moon with the sun hidden behind it. And now when you come to the end of this reading, the sun is fully out for you. So you're going to find this information out. It's going to come to light. And I'm probably seeing there's something good in this because this is a very positive card. I'm not seeing it necessarily is, but I am seeing that something is coming to light about this at this time. So you're going to find out what's going on one way or the other, and then you'll know whether to pursue this relationship or not. That's what I'm seeing. 